Good day, everyone. It is currently the 11th of October, 2011. And as we look across the Western Pacific today, a lot of cloudy skies out here towards Japan. But if we move towards the south, very clear here on satellite imagery is Tropical Storm now Banyan, or actually Tropical Storm Ramon here, being called by Bagasa. Current winds out of this right now per JMA are about 35 knots, gusting up to 45 knots. Bagasa has a little bit weaker, actually still at tropical depression intensity, yet do expect them to upgrade this to a tropical storm as well. Well, currently about 550 nautical miles towards the southeast of Manila, but if you look at the imagery right in here, it is fairly disorganized at this time, just looking at this overcast shield of the Cirrus around this region. But if we look through that shield and towards the surface here at the surface winds, it does look pretty clear and apparent that there is a circulation here just east of Mindanao right now, actually west of Palau, and that is shown right in here, max winds off towards the northern periphery of this system, upwards of about 30 to 35 knots, thus it is upgraded to a tron tropical storm at this time. And looking at visible imagery here is it does look fairly dispersed at the visible side as well. You do see a lot of uh, shear off here towards the western periphery. Well, if we pull up the shear map here, it does show upwards of about 30 to 40 knots of shear out here. Very unconducive for development and that is one reason why it does look fairly disorganized at this time. And also you're starting to see that land interaction over Visayas and Mindanao. Well, it does look like the system will continue to track off towards the northwest towards this wind shear as well. The Thus starting to decrease in its intensity. So at this time, it does look like it's going to max out at those winds of about 35 knots before starting to back off towards tropical depression intensity as well. But if you just look at a lot of this convection here, basically on the visible imagery, a lot of these higher cloud tops causing some heavy rainfall across this region. And actually in some of the regions out here in Samar and Eastern Min now are reporting over about 80 millimeters out here. And uh, Bagas has actually put out that you could expect upwards of 30 millimeters an hour as the storm starts to move on shore but basically I do want to note here in some of these higher areas of convection if we look at the water vapor imagery here especially along the east coast of Samar we actually saw this earlier this year some of the storms that moved through the region is that you could see some orographic lifting and that could cause some of those overall precipitation amounts per hour to increase up to about 50 to 60 millimeters an hour and cause some flooding out there most definitely if that does occur so we'll continue to watch this as it tracks off towards the northwest it does look like that's going to continue to project in that direction along the southern periphery of this clear area up here towards the north. That's the high pressure ridge. And if we look at the streamline analysis, you can see that ridge in place indicated up here in the blue and black. Now that's a lot of that negative vorticity suppressing any development up there, but this is really going to want to follow that overall background flow, moving it off towards the northwest here, likely coming a lot closer to Manila than originally anticipated. But good news, it is going to be fairly disorganized at that time. And really, those max winds near the center of circulation, likely upwards to about 25 to 30 knots but the really the main problem with the storm is going to be the rainfall all of Visayas here in southern Luzon is going to be seeing some heavy rain as it continues to track off in that direction and actually if we look at this model outlook here this is Coamps a high resolution model showing a lot of these uh, rainfall and this is actually what it would look like on radar if you saw it out here in the model outlook is that showing a lot of this precipitation continuing to track off across the region and eventually off towards the South China Sea now thing that I do want to mention is that not only the agencies models are also in disagreement on what the storm will exactly do after it passes the Philippines but here they all are in agreement on the fact that it will move across Visayas here bring in an abundant amount of rainfall you're showing Bagasi here on the left JTWC in the top right and JMA here in the bottom right try to squeeze all three of these in here together and uh, JMA actually pulling the storm right over Manila while JTWC and Bagasi keep it off towards the southwest really do believe that Bagasi and JTWC kind of more on a line what exactly is going to happen here I think JMA might track it off there but the center circulation really as already stated is not going to be an exact issue with this it's going to be the overall broad amount of convection with it that's going to be causing some rainfall out there therefore Pegasus has actually gone out and issued signal force one up and down the east coast of Asias here and over Mindanao also stating the fact that there's going to be heavy flooding with the risk of landslides out across this region so definitely anybody on steep slopes and low-lying areas out here have to continue to watch this storm even 
though it is relatively weak, still going to be bringing an abundant amount of rain showers out there. Also, I do want to mention, though, as already stated, though, long range, we're going to continue to watch this storm as it tracks past the Philippines, but still anybody from about Taiwan all the way over towards Hanai and even Vietnam just need to continue to watch this storm as it starts to get more organized. And once it does get a little bit more organized, we have a little bit clearer of a picture on where exactly it will go. It's one of those storms that's still in the initiation phase, even though it already is moving on shore. But that is all for right now, everybody. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video here and you got some information out of it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as usual, please post them here at westernpacificweather.com or at the YouTube channel as well. And also follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. We continue to post updates throughout the day on the exact information on this storm. But stay safe out there. As always, continue to check back in with Pegasa and uh, JMA on those uh, local warnings there. And also check back at Weathercaster's Pat's update. He'll be putting out a video update this evening as well. So stay safe, guys, and have a great night. Bye.